If you guys do want to win yourself an account with over 500k on FIFA 19, it can either be on the PS4 or on the Xbox One. All you guys have to do is just leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and you will be entered into my monthly giveaway. The winner will be announced on the 22nd of December, so good luck to everyone. You can do whatever you want with the coins on the account. You can transfer them over to your main account. I do not care, it's up to you. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another squad builder. Today, I'm building a team that will cost you about 200k, and this is a really nice team. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Leave a like on the video if you do, and subscribe if you're new, I would really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and start building this team. The goalkeeper is going to be from the Serie A, and we are going to be going with Perrin, a really decent goalkeeper, 90 reflexes, and then at the center back on the right is going to be the 85 rated Miranda, a really good center back. Not the best pace, but defensively really solid. 88 defending, and then looking at the in-game stats, 91 marking, 91 stand tackle, 83 aggression. A really decent center back, and then the center back on the left hand side is going to be Skriniar. Another really good center back, 72 pace, 87 defending, 82 physical, 6 foot 2, medium high work rates, pretty fast as well, 73 sprint speed, and 92 marking, 88 stand tackle, 86 aggression. And the left back of the team is going to be a player from the Premier League, which is going to be Andy Robertson. I think the best left back in the Premier League, 84 pace, really good on FIFA this year. And the right back of the team is going to be a Portuguese player from the Serie A, which is going to be Cancelo. I think the best right back in this league. He does have 88 pace, really sweaty, 81 dribbling, not bad on the attack, as well as defensively 6 feet tall, so quite tall for a right back. And that's been the defense of the team. And then moving to the midfield, the center mid on the right is going to be the new inform Bruno Fernandes. And he does have a really nice card, 85 rated, only about 25k on the market. And he does have 80 pace, 82 shooting, 85 dribbling, forcer skills for the price, a great player. He does have 81 acceleration, 89 vision, 89 shot power, 90 long shots, 85 curve, 85 composure, 92 stamina. Played really well in the team, highly recommended by me. And then the center mid in the middle of the team is going to be another inform. And this player is in there for the chemistry. It is going to be Joel Mario, another really good midfielder. Every stat above 70 except for defense. Ending, only about 23k on the markets and looking at the in-game stats they're really well rounded and then the final midfielder of the team on the left hand side it is gonna be a CDM which is gonna be Fabinho one of my favorite midfielders on the game 71 pace 84 defending 84 physical 6 foot 2 really good defensively looking at the in-game stats 84 interceptions 80 stand tackle 85 aggression, 93 stamina, a complete rock in the midfield, and then at moving to the attack, the left wing of the team is gonna be a player from La Liga, which is gonna be Coutinho, and on the market, he's only about 35k, and he's finally usable, now that pace really doesn't matter as much, he does have 81 pace, 81 shooting, 91 dribbling, 5 star skills, looking at the in-game stats, 93 long shots, 91 curve, an amazing finesse shot, I did play him at cam in this team, once I do switch formations and he did play really well so then uh, the right wing of the team is gonna be a right mid which is gonna be the UCL Martins and I do play him in this team for the chemistry he's not the best winger 95 pace so he's rapid 5 star skills uh, looking at the in-game stats 96 acceleration 95 sprint speed 95 agility his finishing is honestly really bad but again I had to put him in the team for the chemistry so you guys can sub him off for an actual striker I would recommend recommend that and then the final player of the team it is gonna be the beast that is Diego Costa one of my favorite strikers on the game he does have 75 pace so not the quickest but insane finishing 80 through shooting looking at the in-game stats 87 finishing 80 through composure 92 strength a really strong player six foot two and he just fits FIFA perfectly this year only about 10k for him so that right there is the team in game I do change formations to the 41212 second variation and then that right there is how I do play the team in game. We do play Fabinho as the CDM and we do play Coutinho as the center attacking mid. 
and then Diego Costa and Martins are up top as the two strikers. Again, I would recommend you guys go ahead and sub off Martins, especially in a difficult game, and bring on an actual striker. So that's been the team right there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you have, and subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys want to see next. It's been ETG, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.